is our histology model for the blood vessels. So from class, recall that we said this is a vein, this is a vein, and this is probably the best representation of an artery. All right, and all three of these are trying to show our three our three layers. So the innermost layer, which is going to be the orange, is going to be our tunica intima, and that's going to be endothelium, which is simple squamous epithelial tissue. All right, and then it's connected. And that's what I think the two and the three, the gray and the white, it's going to be connected to the underlying tissue by an elastic areolar tissue. So that elastic areolar tissue and that endothelium together make our tunica intima or tunica interna. The next layer is going to be the muscle. So we're going to see the red, all right, and that is going to be our tunica media. And this is smooth muscle, and most of it is arranged in a circular pattern, so it'll change the diameter of the vessel when it constricts or dilates. All right? In some really, really big vessels, you might have some longitudinal running muscle, but for the most part, it's circular. All right? Now, in the artery between the tunica media and between the tunica intima, there is one thing, it's not shown here, but it is one extra feature, and that's the internal elastic membrane. And remember, because the arteries have to do so much constriction, dilation, changes in shape, they need a lot of elastic. So this internal elastic membrane is just more elastic fibers to help with that recoil capability of the vessel. Okay. Now, the third layer is your tunica externa. So the white and the yellow here. And again, on the artery between the tunica media and the tunica externa or adventitia layer, you would find an external elastic membrane. So again, just more elastic fibers helping with recoil. Now for that tunica externa or tunica adventitia layer, we typically are going to see lots of collagen fibers. It's sometimes also known as a fibrous coating, right, because it needs to be strong. And those collagen fibers in this layer are what helps anchor like the artery and the vein to each other and then the artery and the vein to let's say the neuron or the um, nerve running next to it and so those collagens kind of help give structure support so the vessel stays where it needs to stay. Okay. The other unique feature and it's only shown here is that the valves that are in veins only derive from the uh, internal endothelium. All right, I think that is everything.